Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to my vlog over here at the VA. I'm currently doing the medicine inpatient rotation here at the VA. Definitely a little bit different and what the hell. So I'm sorry for the super tired appearance. So I'm actually going quite a few days in a row right now. I'm pretty exhausted, but we're here for another day. Our list doesn't look too bad. I think we have like four patients on our list right now. And, uh, and I'm just gonna enjoy this day. I'm gonna try to get it done. Get out of here a little sooner, go spend time with the family who's over and visiting. So they're gonna be in this vlog as well. So stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for tuning in while you're here. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. We do a lot of these vlogs right here. You guys can get a day if you're interested in medicine. You guys can get a feel for what a day in the life of an internal medicine resident is who's ending the first year of intern year. So we're really rapidly approaching the end of first year. Not a wise spot, my friend. Not a wise spot. Ooh, I've never seen the babies here. noon done with all my notes done with seeing all the patients really it's just hanging out now waiting for anything to come up um it's not a call day i'm the one that's staying long today so i just take care of all the work and head out whenever i'm done till then these snacks will keep me hanging in i don't know why these are the snacks you choose you go through and you think man we got some hungry residents i really think they're gonna want whatever the heck that is <music> It's a weird schedule. You work a full day shift, like two days, and then the third day you do this weird thing where you come in at night and then stay until the morning and admit patients. So it's kind of your typical rotation for a couple days and all of a sudden they throw your schedule off and you gotta stay overnight. I just woke up, I'm gonna get a good workout in, get some good breakfast, enjoy my day until around like eight o'clock. Then we're gonna get ready and go over to the hospital. And over there, we're gonna stay overnight, admit patients, take care of whatever comes up, and then head back in the morning, hopefully early. It depends how many patients we get. So we got this little guy to also take care of at the same time. Good morning, what are you up to? What, why are you crying? I heard you crying earlier. So we're done with our workout. I'm gonna spare you watching me do a bed press in a vlog for the 10th time in a row. But we're done with the shower, we shaved up a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of my skincare routine that I've started. So I've never really done a skincare routine before. I just felt like I've marinated it, you know, flawless skin and all. But ever since COVID has hit and I'm wearing a mask all day, you can see like I got hyperpigmentation everywhere. I got spots everywhere. I actually had to start doing a skincare routine. So first thing, whatever moisturizer you use, I just had this one lying around, went to Costco recently. So we're just gonna put the moisturizer on first. Next is gonna be the CeraVe Retinol Cream. We're gonna go with a little bit of vitamin C. And then one of the last things we're gonna do is put some of this argan oil in my hair. I don't really use hair product. Literally just put in some argan oil, kind of move it around. And with that, we're ready to go. I think it's like four o'clock-ish right now. I don't know where the morning went. I have no clue where all those hours went. But I have like four or five more hours before I have to actually show up at night flow and start admitting patients. So maybe gonna do some UO questions because I still have step three to study for. And I'm gonna take my laptop over there. Hopefully we don't get too many admissions. I can work on editing videos or doing something else. So we'll see guys. So as you can see guys, sun is down. We're getting ready to actually head out to our night shift. Just kind of hanged out with Beneath here. It's National Siblings Day, so she's getting uh... We just played with this little guy. Now he's tired out. All right, Bernie, we're out. Dab it up. Oh my God, it's lighting. You want me to dab it up? We got to see the dab. Dab it up. So in addition to doing admissions on this shift, we're actually gonna cover for the other three teams. So however many patients the other three teams has, we're gonna do something called cross cover. So anything that comes up with these patients, I'm gonna be the one to take care of it. 
So I'm gonna get signed up so I know something about these patients, obviously. I'm not just gonna go completely blind and treat all of them. So I have to go get signed up. That is a rat right there. That is disgusting. So VA hospital, a lot of hallways. It's already empty even during the day, so. Super quiet here in the night. I don't know what I just walked into. I got a patient that just had a rapid response and now they're getting confused and hypotensive. So we're gonna go check in on that. Literally just got here, man. So I'm gonna get over there, see how he's doing. If his blood pressure's still a little low, I know they gave him a little bit of fluids. I'm gonna see if he needs any more. Probably gonna broaden his antibiotics. There's any guys an alternation. We're probably gonna get a CT head. See if there's anything else going on there. Yeah, I don't know. Patient was chilling, couldn't answer one or two questions like where he was or what city this was. But overall, was doing great. So I don't know what his baseline is. That's the thing we're walking into cross cover. I don't know exactly where this patient was at before I walked into all this. So it's a tough call. I'm just gonna give him a little bit more fluids and um, possibly consider doing the CT head. So what kind of things am I doing when I'm cross covering? Well, little things that come up. If a patient can't sleep, or you gotta give them melatonin, or a patient's in pain, you gotta give them Tylenol, or even upgraded things like Norco or Dilaudid, or things like this where patients becoming hypotensive, bradycardic, rapid they're called, those can get pretty intense. <laughs> Your night can go from relaxed to 100% pretty quickly. Hey Brian, this is Cross Cover. Uh, for your patient in bed 12, did we ever do a post transfusion CBC, CBC? So we're caught up with putting all of our orders in, our patients are chilling out. So it's time for me to chill out. So like I said, the goal is today to try to get some videos edited. I have two in the works. One is our podcast, we finally shot our next episode. It's just unfortunate that we get so busy and then projects that we're working on get lost. Like I have so many awesome things I wanna do. There's one specific series I wanna do it's so good. I cannot wait to put it out. It's one of those series that I think if it picks up, which YouTube algorithm has notoriously just screwed our channel up. I don't know what it is about stuff we put out. Huge interest is shown in it. We get a massive influx of likes and comments and it's just not sent out to anybody. And I know it's not because I see the numbers on our end and how many subs are even getting to see the notifications. And it's just unfortunate. So I don't know why YouTube does that. It is what it is. But with this particular series, I am very hopeful that a lot of people will vibe with it and the idea is so amazing. So make sure you subscribe for that because that's been a long project in the works. It's just, it takes so much time to shoot stuff like that. And uh, I think I'm very excited for that one. There's another video that I'm hoping to get out by tomorrow. So it will be up by this time this video is up, which is how much I make as a resident. So if you're interested in how much I'm making doing all this, make sure you check out that video. So we're back from our first admission. Luckily, it's just a CHF exacerbation, congestive heart failure exacerbation. So in this case, he forgot to take his medications last time he was discharged. And uh, where am I going? I gotta put this away. So he forgot to take his medications. That's an easy fix. Take your medications, but we're gonna have to admit him, diarrhea him, give him medications that will make him pee a lot to get all the fluid off. So let's get working on that. But either way, I have it down to about 30, 40 minutes to actually write the notes. So it takes some time to go see the patient, typically about 15, 20 minutes, see the patient, get a history, get everything written down and come up here, write it in a note, put in admission orders, put in any other orders that need to be put in. And in the end of the day, that takes me about an hour per patient. I wanna get it down to like 30, 40 minutes. That would be some veteran status, uh, but it takes me about an hour to do admission right now. Does your guys' resident rooms also have this, just random stuff? This Mountain Dew has been here for sure for over a month or two. Like nobody, nobody trusts this. Like nobody is gonna have this here. And then I don't know how long that cinnamon cake's gonna be here. I think somebody did take a bite out of it. A brave soul might've taken one bite out of it, but uh, it's gonna be there for a while. Speaking of cinnamon cakes, I'm getting really hungry and I think there's a vending machine around here somewhere in the hospital. So let's go find that. So we're on the search for this vending machine in this very creepy VA hospital. I don't know if you guys have heard all the kind of creepy stories that go on in hospitals. Residents that are rounding at night, see creepy things. Just beautiful thoughts to have when I'm alone in the hospital here. Take a look at this. Not a soul here. <laughs> Now, I'm not one typically to believe in the supernatural, but for sure I've had my own experiences of unexplained phenomena, which we can get into, I'm sure, on a podcast video.
What the heck? Cheddar checks. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. Simply cheddar. This is what they're giving our residents these days, man. That microwave doesn't even work, so that makes all of that useless. And then here we have these. Like, really? Like, what are we, man? Like, two years old? Like, what is that? Chocolate milk, mozzarella sticks. Like, what are we doing out here? I wish they have these. Oh, the Rice Krispies are still so much too bad. $1,000 just to tax it. How much overall am I going to be making after all this in my first year of residence? Alright, it's time to relocate. It is freezing in here. I finished editing one video. I think that's going to be it for the night. I'm going to head over to the resident rooms. They have beds there. I don't know how clean they are, but I need to lay down. I'm getting really tired. I'm going to hang out before the next admission comes. But I got to get out of this room. It is freezing. I don't know what's up with that. Hopefully the resident rooms aren't messed up because sometimes those are really cold as well. It's like checking into a little hotel. Oh great, someone wants their nasty masks. Some computers here, we can get some good work done. Housekeeping my ass, I don't know what's been happening in here. So you guys are probably like, what the hell am I looking at here? But <laughs> I did manage to get some sleep. Very, very little, a couple, 30 minutes, and then you get a call. So I actually know how absolutely annoying it is to get a call for random, tiny little things. Like just now, there was a call for a patient I don't even have on my team, so that's very annoying. But hopefully, going to get a couple more hours here of sleep before I'm woken up for morning grounds. Right, night shift done, rounds are over. Let's get out of here, get something to eat. I don't know if I'm gonna go to sleep or not yet. We'll see. It's usually after a night shift like that that I absolutely crave some Taco Bell. I need to go to Taco Bell right now, get a crunch wrap, get some extra spicy jalapeno sauce, get a quesadilla on the side, some uh, Baja Blast Freeze. Like, come on, but. Not gonna do that because I'm trying to eat healthy, trying to do all this exercise bull crap. So I'll probably go and uh, have like some kale or some shit. Yo, so I got home from uh, I got home from my shift and instead of napping, chose to hang out and we're doing a photo shoot with Brittany. Get out of fire, I'm doing this weird movement. You gotta explain it. They they can definitely see all this nonsense going on in here. Nonsense. But I do get done with my shift. This is what we end up spending time doing: photo shoots. <laughs> what is my plan for today there's two options usually after a night shift like that either you go to sleep right now or you try to work through your day and go to sleep during the appropriate time at night and i'm gonna choose going to sleep right now see ya